What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of our Jack and Daxter series. And in today's episode, we are going to start off by actually traveling to Fire Canyon, which is, this is actually sort of like the, uh, the main hub between the first set of levels and the second set of levels within the game. <clears throat> and then you will also notice, once we complete the second set of levels in this game, we will actually travel to uh, Mountain Pass. Now, which is similar to this fire canyon. Don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Alrighty guys, so now we are actually going to hop onto this vehicle. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so this, this vehicle is pretty sweet. I think it's, it's actually called a zoomer. And one of my favorite parts about this level is the various collectibles and stuff that you're actually, like these balloons. These balloons are utilized to uh, cool your temperature off when you're traveling through the fire canyon. And as you can see on this first run here, I end up dying, but uh, I was trying to collect all the orbs as well as these scout flies. Because as you remember, there's seven located in each level. And I am going to be getting 100% on this, this entire uh, Jack and Daxter trilogy. But I'm super excited, guys. And also, recently, um, I set up my brand new computer. I got a, a new computer in the other day. It was custom built. It was by Origin PC, which is a gaming company um, that builds custom computers. As you can see, I just died there. Um, but anyways, you, I uh, selected all of my parts and had them build it for me. And then they just shipped it out in a crate, so it was really nice and convenient and everything was already set up and pre-installed, so I didn't have to worry about, like, installing the operating system and all of the drivers and everything. It was all you plug and go, which is really convenient. And yeah, so I'm super impressed with this. Maybe I'm, I'll do a new room setup. I have an, all my consoles now set up to this switcher, so I'm able to switch between each console, such as the PlayStation 1, 2, three, uh, four, I have all those set up, and then also the Xbox, the GameCube, and all the other retro consoles, and I'm also in the process of, I think, starting my Minecraft Season 3 single-player series on my YouTube channel, which is going to be something I'm really looking forward to, because it's been several years since i played Minecraft, probably three years, and, you know, here we go. And we finally got the last scout fly, so that's great. Which is right over here. Now we're at 30, uh, 35 power cells total. And like I mentioned before, I think there's like 70 some in the game. And by the way, this is a post-recorded episode for the commentary. Uh, Post-commentary. And by the way, yeah, so once we finish this level, we actually go into this warp pad for the zoomer. We get another power cell. Alright, sweet. We also have a trophy. And another thing that I want to do here is go back on the zoomer because as you can see there's still a crate over there that we need to collect. <clears throat> so I believe once we get all these orbs we should be completed. Yep. There's Fire Canyon, 100%. And that's great. So, yeah guys, I'm super impressed with my new computer. I'm able to record and render at super fast rates. It has up to 128 gigs of RAM DDR4. And I'm able to put at seven to eight hard drives in this machine, so it's it's crazy. I don't think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! That looks like the blue sage through a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no, I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! 
like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. Alrighty, everyone, so we got that completed there, that little cutscene. And we were basically informed about this next set of levels in this homeworld over here. And as you can see, there's like a there's there's like this giant monster that's sort of terrorizing this whole village area. And we have to take him down eventually, so that's the main goal of this area. And once we complete that, we're gonna have to actually prior to that, we're gonna have to go to Baki Swamp, which is a unique location in this set of levels. It it actually features a new type of eco, which is, I think it's an orange-ish color or something, and you can actually shoot these like fireballs out. <clears throat> I'm not, I always get those mixed up, if it's the orange eco or the red eco, uh, but it's one of those different colors, so <laughs> yeah, eventually we'll find what it is. Okay, so let's go and get these orbs here, and there's a really cool blue eco um, orb vent, I guess you could call it, that we're going to have to go and collect right now. So this precursor basin area, it features another part with a zoomer that we're going to have to take down a bunch of different creatures, as well as complete a race, which kind of gave inspiration to the Jack X combat racing game. I think it, it was kind of like a precursor to that. So... Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I can All right. Take. So this is, of course, the Oracle again, and we're going to have to trade 120 times 2 with this Oracle if we want to get those uh, two power cells. So eventually I will do that, but not today, because first we have to talk to these two characters that are located over here. Ah, oh, no, not another hero. I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. And trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way you pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. <laughs> oh, okay, so yeah. we're gonna trade these orbs here for a power cell. Nice. Okay, so we got that completed. Nice. And it's a good thing that I, I'm going for 100% because I'm able to do these types of things with these characters. So let's go and talk to this guy now. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh sure, and seal my doom. <sighs> All right, fine. Bring me ninety precursor orbs, and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again.
Alrighty, everyone, let's do the quick trade off. Wonderful. You brought me the precursor orders. Alright, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. There we go, guys. So now we have the docks all in order, and we can actually walk over to the next part of the level. Sweet. So we got the power cell from both of these characters in this area. And now let's go, I think we're going to just, let's go look around a little bit, see what else we could collect. So that monster that's at the top of the hill, he's actually throwing these large flaming boulders down and rocks. So we have to watch out here. And if you fall into this water, lurkers, um, or those, whatever they're called, those shark things, uh, th they'll actually try to kill you, so be careful. And over here, this is where that gun is located. So we're gonna we're actually gonna use this to lift up that large boulder later on. But we need a little bit more uh, power cells. I think we, Kira said we needed 45 or so. So let's go and hop on over here. And if we walk on this direction, it's gonna take us to the the boggy swamp, which is one of my favorites. I really like this. This in, the whole entire game is amazing. Whether it's Boggy Swamp, uh, Mountain Pass you're going through, or oh, what's that one? Snowy Mountain. That's one of my favorites. And yeah, you have to be careful here because the lurker. Oh geez, I almost fell in again and got eaten by that shark. I keep calling it a lurker shark. I don't know why. But anyways, you could do the barrel roll in this direction. And just quickly swim over to this island because as you can see there's some orbs that are laying here so we got to get these with the little bonsai tree at the top <laughs> looks like a bonsai a little mr miyagi action from karate kid okay so we're gonna barrel roll into this section this is the lost precursor city it's kind of like an underwater atlantis ruins and it's really unique maybe in the next episode i'll go there and complete that because uh, today we're going to complete this entire central part. And then hopefully I'll be able to go over to the Precursor Basin. Do a little bit of racing on the Zoomer. Because there's a lot of different things we have to collect. Ooh, nice. There's a Power Cell. And that should be good. We also got a Trophy. So we're at 39. We're almost at our goal to lift that boulder and defeat the Mysterious Beast at the top of the mountain. <laughs> okay, so let's go this way. And... Yeah, there's that blue eco over here. So now I'm gonna try to get this and roll in the right direction. But in order to complete this, you actually have to be facing this direction. And then you have to roll over here. And correctly make it. See, I didn't make it that time, so... We're gonna have to go all the way back and try again. And I know this, this episode is probably going to be like tw almost 25 to 30 minutes, I would say. So let's get the blue eco now. And you have to roll once, twice, three times, and four. There we go. Nice. So we got all of the orbs. We're at 50 out of 50 in Rock Village. And I think the rest of the orbs basically come from... Oh, here we go. Let's talk to her first. And maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? All right. So, as you can see, there's a few tasks that we have to accomplish first. We have to go into this uh, lost city, or not the lost city, the Precursor Basin and take care of this little rat problem kind of. It's th These creatures almost look like rats that we have to 
take care of. We have to scare them back into their homes, their little holes. There's also a purple ring challenge that we have to go through these rings and stuff to in order to get a, a power cell. And as you can see, this place is just full of these dark eco boxes, which really, I always take damage from these things. So, there's one there. We have to chase all of them back into their homes. So, see, there's those purple rings that I was telling you about. Okay, there's another one and another one. Let's go in this direction. There's also these flying creatures, these uh, purple Spiral the Dragon creatures <laughs> that we also have to kill and take down. There we go. By the way, guys, let me know what you think of the quality of this episode down in the comments below because I'm recording at max settings on my new um, my uh, new computer. So I'm gonna test this out and see how it goes. Just let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hopefully, Jack and Daxter still looks pretty decent in this 1080p, 60 frames per second. Nice. All right, so let's go over here. And you pretty much just have to learn the patterns of all these creatures. Because they all follow the same route over and over again. So, if you forget how to... There we go. If you forget how to do it, you can just keep repeating the same process. Oh, jeez, I'm getting destroyed by these dark eco boxes. <laughs> That's one thing that I always sucked at in this... With this zoomer, was avoiding things. Alright, let's go back this way. That's another reason why I love Jack 2, is because it features a lot more vehicles. It's kind of like, in a way, it's similar to Grand Theft Auto, the entire game. Because you kind of can steal vehicles from people and drive around the city, go to different locations. It's like a massive sandbox. I know I'm missing some orbs here, but I will circle back around and get collect all of them. So, so far, guys, I'm loving the Origin Millennium custom built computer and I will be doing some more videos on that I'm gonna be starting my own company this year and uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be basically a production company video productions so I'm gonna be able to do drone videos I'm working on getting my uh, FAA or part 107 certification which basically allows you to make money from using your drone uh, for business purposes so it's gonna be cool also have to get an LLC, which is uh, like an individual license for business practicing. So it's really cool. It's like establishing your business on the marketplace. Alright, so let's go over in this section now. There's multiple locations we have to go to. There's also this really annoying mini game that features these purple plants. We have to kind of like use these fertilizer, green eco, it's weird. Here it is, it's in the, this direction. We have to go over there. All right, let's go and chase down this guy. It has a pretty similar pattern. Whoops, let's go pick up some orbs while we're at it. Cause I know I'm gonna forget those. Oh, jump over this, damn. I always make mistakes when I get to those dark eco boxes. And another thing, guys, I wanted to mention is I will be doing some more travel adventures this year. I plan on... I don't know, I was thinking about even starting my own YouTube travel channel. Like a separate channel, but still connected to my El Karloff YouTube page. So I don't know, it just it's up to whatever you guys... Think. You can even let me know in the comments down below. Sorry if you hear my dog running around in the background. <laughs> He's all excited. Alright, so let's go in. This is that section I was telling you about earlier. Let's go and try to get all these things here. Man, I'm really... My jumping skills are bad today on this gameplay cliff. <laughs> Alright. Alright. And the good thing is that green eco vents right over there, so if we all ever take um, like a lot of damage, we can easily just go back to that vent. For example, if, like when I was hitting all those crates, those dark eco. Oh man. Okay, so this one's a little bit more of a trickier pattern. 
kind of zigzags in between these pillars. But eventually we'll get it. Let's get this purple guy. This flying, flying lurker. Yeah, and, uh... Alright, I can't believe today's already April 1st. There we go. So we got another power cell. Almost completed. And I don't think I'm gonna complete this entire section fully in this episode. Good flying! Those lurkers were no match for your zoomer. That's one more power cell. Alright. So yeah, let's this is the uh, the plant part I was telling you about. All you have to do is just go over here. Keep going over these plants. And they'll keep popping back up, so we're gonna have to go back through several times with the green eco. Try to get all these taken care of. But once we do this, I do believe we get a power cell. Okay, so let's go over here. Get this. And I think for this series, I'm probably gonna start doing 25 to 30 minute episodes. Just so that way we complete it in a few, like fewer episodes and more episodes. I'm going to try to have my series done within 8 to 10 videos, hopefully. That's my goal for 2021. Okay, so let's go back through this vent. And hopefully this will be the last run. Getting all these things taken care of. It's like a crabgrass or something. Yes. Okay, almost done. There's a few more. One, two, three. Beautiful. Nice, we got a power cell. Of course, this plant pops up again. <laughs> it's like a common thing. All right. So now that we got that completed, let's we could go into the other direction. Cool. Alright, so there's all these orbs over here that I forgot to mention earlier. Which we have to jump from each pillar. This is a, a bit of a tricky part. But don't worry, guys. We'll get this completed. There's also a scout fly that's behind us that we're going to have to collect. So, let's go and dodge these crates. Collect this. Jump here. Second one. Third and fourth. Right to a scout fly. Alright, so this is also where the power cell is. Oh jeez, we missed it. Okay, and the bad thing about missing that is we're going to have to go all the way back. <laughs> and redo this whole part. But first, let's go get these while we're here. Okay, nice. Yeah, there's a race off to the right. I'm going to ignore that for today. We're going to save that for the next episode. By the way, I just wanted to test out my settings in audio. So the next video I record will be a live commentary for episode number 5. By the way, I hope you enjoyed that new intro. I will be using a dip that intro for the re remainder of this Let's Play series. By the way, I'm working on a few other custom 3D intros. Because I recently picked up Sony Vegas 18. I purchased it. And, oh crap, I thought I was going to fall there. And I could do some 3D animated intros and stuff. Some really cool effects. Alright, nice. So we got the power cell. And another thing I'm going to be getting is Photoshop and Illustrator. Because I really want to start doing some custom graphics. And uh, I just, i always been a fan of those programs for some reason. Okay, so there's a few more power cells as you you can see we're missing, but no need to. F Ooh, let's go over here. No need to fear. Let's see. Nice. So far, so good. And yeah, we're gonna go and get this final sc uh, scout fly. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought 
I thought we already had all, all seven of them. Okay, so now, there's a few more tricky jumps here. One thing I also love about, I think Jack 2 is the one game that features it, is uh, there's like this hoverboard. It's really cool. It's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Underground or whatever. It's just one of my favorite things about Jack 2. Even when you get to Jack 3, there's this desert environment. And it's just fully explorable. There's so many different vehicles to choose from. So each game pretty much builds upon each uh, one another. Oh my god. I keep overshooting this jump. <laughs> Sorry guys about that. Let's go circle around one more time. Third time's a charm. I think you just have to jump without... Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we're at 241. And we're still missing a bunch of different things, so... This area is definitely going to be wrapped up in the next episode, so let's go and exit real quick. Return to the geologist and collect our power cell. And then after that, I think, guys, we're going to be completed with this episode, so... Thank nice. You for saving those moles. That's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Okay, so we got the final power cell. And I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. We got a lot of things completed. We're at 44 power cells. Um... Oh wait, we have to trade the orbs as well. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. Forgot about that. Nice. So there's another one. Oh my god, we got a, a bunch in this video. What did we get, like 10 or 12 different power cells? Can't remember what we started out as. So in the next episode, we'll go and talk to this oracle. Oh, here we go. We'll get at least one. We'll have to get the other one in the next video. But anyways, guys... Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy. And in episode number 5, we'll continue in this area, as well as head to a new, undiscovered location. So stay tuned.